Hi, welcome to today's session where I will be answering another baking question for the commercial baking industry. Today's question is from Tom in Lithuania and he says, Dr. Carson, I would like to perform pasteurization for rye bread. Do I need to use low temperature and long processing time? Which one should I focus on? What about packaging? Am I right that bread should always be fully packaged in plastic? Well, first of all, Tom, thanks for reaching out. This is a great question. Um, as you mentioned, a pasteurization is, is the heat treatment for um, liquids. So um, just remember that pasteurization is uh, a way of treating heat treating liquid products so that it eradicates microbes in the liquid. For baking, um, it's, it's, for baking is a kill step for solid products. This is the heat treatment that changes the product from a solid um, material to a, a porous material. And that, and that step, we provide a kill step that kills all microbes in the baking process. So um, let's start by having you type the word in, rye flour. And when you type that into our web page, it will bring you to our, our uh, rye flour page detailing the properties of rye and why it's different from wheat. So why is rye different from wheat? Well, because it doesn't have the same protein profile and it is high in gliadin, you know, the flowy protein molecules, and it lacks a glutenin, which is the elastic um, property of the gluten. So because it's got, it's got so much gliadin and it's flowable, um, rye breads tend to not have good sidewalls. Don't forget, rye flour is, as stated on our webpage, is high in uh, penicence. So penicence, uh, as, as the name says, pento, five sides. It's a five... Uh, side molecule that has a lot of hydroxyl groups which like to suck water. So there are about 2% of pentosans in rye flour which makes it a competitor for um, water absorption. So a lot of the water that gets used in rye flour actually goes to the pentosans, right? So um, because they they absorb so much water. Um, Penicillins are the reasons why you have to bake differently. So why bake rye bread differently? Mainly because of those bothersome molecules, right? They suck up so much water that you have to bake it all out. If you don't, then you'll get a gummy and moldy uh, rye bread. Uh, and since you're in Europe, I am um, guessing that you are using a 100% rye bread system, most likely a sourdough product. And the baking of this kind of bread is absolutely different from 100% wheat flour bread. Therefore, as a baker, I would recommend to heat up the oven to 450 degrees Fahrenheit. That is about 232 degrees Celsius. Put your bread in there and turn it down to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 175 degrees Celsius. All right, so if you're working with an industrial oven, you want the first zone to be really high so that you can kick up the oven spring. So for, for this, you wanna have a high front zone 
then bring the middle zones down to 350 and then with a slight 50 degrees increment for every zone after that it will be 20 degrees Celsius so if you have um, zone 1 be it at 450 zone 2 be at 350 and zone 3 will be um, 400 and then 450 and just as it kicks out just uh, increase the last zone as much as possible to get the color of your bread now um, this is important if you are not familiar with thermal profiling because you really need to get the internal temperature of the bread to 200 degrees Fahrenheit which is 95 degrees Celsius um, and if you're not familiar with this go to the page called thermal profiling it is going to give you a graph with an indication of the crumb set zone you need to bake the bread within 10 to 15 percent of the crumb set zone and when you do this especially for rye bread you get a proper bake and especially for rye breads with high moisture you really need to stay at a minimum of 10 percent you don't want to go down below that um, so do me a favor all your baker out there um, you need to stop guessing when to stop baking and you need to start using uh, thermal profile probes um, to understand what, what your internal temperatures are and how to stay within a crumb set zone. So, um, and you can do that with uh, the pro thermal profiles in the market. Um, people like uh, Scorpion from Reading Thermal and a mole from uh, Big Watch would do the job for you. To answer the last part of your question on uh, packaging, should you package in plastic? So I have two points here. Um, I don't know if you're a fresh bakery and I don't know about your distribution channel. If you're a fresh bakery and your, fra your, your bread gets sold within a day, absolutely sell it in paper but if you are a big wholesale baker and your bread lasts for more than three days absolutely plastic uh, package only in plastic and um, mainly because plastic en enhances your shelf life and keeps the moisture in makes the bread softer right so um, don't forget before you package, you really have to cool down the rye bread. And because rye bread has so much moisture, it takes extra baking, extra cooling, right? So go to bread cooling. On our website and learn more and uh, learn more about where you need to cool the bread to. So what we recommend usually is 92 110 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 32 to 42 degrees Celsius. We want to target the low end of um, the spectrum to reduce the rye bread um, temperature to such a point where it's easy to slice and is easy to package without condensation. And you want to uh, pack, give it, it uh, give it a a good um, cooling because you want the bread to last longer. When you have condensation in the package, you will get molding faster. So you want to you want to stop that. Um, all right. So if you have any more questions, um, send it to ask Dr. Lin at bakerpedia.com. And before we end, I wanted to thank um, our sponsors, Solange Mill, a purveyor of rye flour in North America, and Reading Thermal, the makers of Scorpio, and Bake Watch, the makers of Mole. Both are reliable thermal profile tools. With sponsors like them, um, we are able to do what we do at Bakerpedia. 
And um, again, if you need to ask us questions, reach out to me. Thank you.